This exercise, we are going to work on building some of the uh, endurance in the core muscle because as you know, as we function in our day-to-day, -day, our abs are kind of called upon at any time and just as we're standing and walking, uh, doing dishes, um, just about anything, our core needs to have uh, some sort of um, just general overall tone throughout our day to kind of keep us uh, upright and keep us working. So let's get started and come on to your hands and knees with your shoulders directly over your wrists. And I want you to shift forward to make sure that you're not pushing backwards and tightening your neck. Think of kind of like a turtle popping its head out with a nice long neck. Uh, so what I do want to make sure is that you keep your back straight and don't let it hinge mid-back or let your ribs flare and stress a diastasis. You should now be able to feel your core engage with a straight back. Keep your back straight and lifted while you exhale. Think about what your pelvic floor is doing throughout this exercise. And if you don't, you may put a lot of force downwards onto your pelvic floor. And up to 50% of women have some sort of prolapse postpartum. And if you put tremendous force through your abdominal wall while you bear down on your exhale, you can potentially make it worse. So when you exhale, do kind of like a Kegel-like draw up with your pelvic floor so that you don't bear down. Once you know this for sure that you're not bearing down, then relax and just let your pelvic floor do its thing. So inhale, feel your back expand, back body breathing, pelvic floor relaxes down, long turtleneck, and step two, think about getting your abs to fire for the exhale and not your back muscles. They actually need to take a break. This is your abs time to do the work. So think about lifting your mid back and just hold here. So exhale, control your abs and press your mid back to the ceiling a bit more and that pelvic floor contracts up, ribs come together and keep your neck long and chin tucked. Hold the ground that you gain with every exhale and don't let anything relax. We are building endurance here. Once you've got that nailed down with your abs super engaged, I want you to try lifting your arm and switch arms breathing continuously. Don't let any other part of your body move. Lift one hand upwards towards the ceiling with a straight arm and then switch to the other. If your belly drops or if you shift to the side, don't stretch your arm as high. Just keep your abs engaged and as go as, go as high as you can. You can also try to add your legs and once you get that down, keep going and stretch one leg back, breathing as you switch between legs and don't let your back arch or your ribs flare. Don't let anything move. Stretch your leg back straight and lift as high as you can and then switch to the other side. If your belly drops or you shift to the side, don't lift your leg as high. Just make sure you are able to keep your abs engaged. 